28. All right, you got this. Oh, you yeah. got this. Oh, yeah. 29. One more. 30. Good lift. Thank Good you. Lift. Thank right. you. Mark Wahlberg and Dwayne Johnson joining forces in Pain and Gain, the action comedy inspired by the true story of three down and out bodybuilders who hatch a crazy plot to kidnap a wealthy businessman and extort money. You're here with his take, our very own Lights Camera Jackson. The tagline for this movie is, this is a true story. Here's another true fact. Director Michael Bay's first non-Transformers movie in eight years is a complete mess. Pain and Gain, it takes place over several months between 1994 and 95 in Miami, Florida. Daniel Lugo, played by Wahlberg, is a fitness trainer who wants more out of his life. He wants the money, the cars, the fancy homes, and the pretty women of some of his clients. What he says is the American dream. And he knows that he won't get those things on the current path that he's on. So he recruits Dwayne Johnson's Paul, who just got out of prison where he became born again, and Anthony Mackey's Adrian, a co-worker at the gym, to kidnap one of the wealthiest men in South Florida, Victor Kershaw, played by Tony Shalhoub. The plan is to get Kershaw to sign over all his money and possessions to the trio, and after several days of torture, he eventually does. And even though the three of them are not very bright, they don't get caught! But Kershaw, who's a real jerk, won't go down without a fight. He hires a private detective, Ed Harris, to try to get his stuff back after the Miami police don't believe his story. There are some complications, but this is pretty much it. And because it's so simple and straightforward, Bay tries all of his tricks in an attempt to keep us interested for the two plus hours, but they all fail. All right, from the trailer, this looks kind of funny. It's kind of like a caper film. Right. There's a great cast. Yeah doesn't work out though. Yeah, I, I don't know where to begin here, but really the biggest problem with this film is that the tone is all over the place. It tries so hard to be clever. It goes from goofy to serious to violent to silly, and Bay tries to use all those tricks to keep us interested. Stylized slow motion shots, extreme close-ups, uh, on-screen titles, narration for practically every character. I hated that. And the pounding soundtrack, music behind every single scene. Nothing works. Seems like the movie didn't know what it wanted to be. Yeah. Okay, it's based on a true story. Does that help or hurt it? Well, we're supposed to be amazed that these characters are real and that these situations actually happened. The problem is the characters are so uninteresting and we care so little for them that it doesn't matter. And I guarantee you, the dialogue heard in this film wasn't spoken by any of these people in real life. Yeah, probably not. Okay, Dwayne Johnson, he's one of the busiest men in Hollywood these days. Wahlberg's usually pretty solid. Right. Anyone in the cast rise above the material? No, Johnson, I think, was miscast here. He doesn't play Dopey well. And you've also got Wahlberg, who's not that great. Rebel Wilson and Ken Jeong are throw in because they're hot and current right now. But like everything else in this movie, they really have no purpose. Harris's character is the only one who plays it straight, but it seems like he's out of a different movie. Rated R, Jackson, yeah. for a reason, yeah. right? There is language, there's adult situations, plus drug use and the violence, which is occasionally played for laughs. At one point, one of Dwayne Johnson's big toes is shot off, and then he puts it in a baggie, and later he feeds it to a little dog. That's the type of script we're dealing with here. Yeah, violence for laughs, not going to get too many of them. All right, what's the grade, Jackson? <laughs> On the official LCJ report card, pain and gain gets an F, the first F of the year. There's nothing to gain from seeing this movie except pain. Ooh, stay away. All right, All before right. we go, show me your guns, there Saul. There you go, man. Nice. I think I need a little more time nice. with that. Yes.